Hello guys, it is Constant Upgrader here with a new Let's Play! Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. So, quite a curveball, don't you think? <laughs> and wow, those intros took forever. Uh, Alright, so anyways, uh, this game, this game, I got this game a couple months back. I've been playing it for like, I don't need to see that. been playing it for uh, some time. Uh, just a couple days ago, I finally beat it. So uh, bits of it are still kind of fresh in my mind. Uh, quickly, while well, it's fresh in my mind. <laughs> and um, yeah, the beginning is a bit fuzzy. I haven't played that in a bit, but uh, that'll give me a nice chance to explain all the game mechanics and whatnot. Um, yeah, anyways, um, this is the start of a series on Unfortunate Events, the video game. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's a very short game, so, so it uh, shouldn't take too long. Um, it's really one of the best games uh, adapted from movies that I've played. Uh, it's actually very good. And uh, judging from how many studios it took to create this game, uh, You'd expect quite a bit, <laughs> okay? Uh, will you be able to see what I'm doing in the game? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, let's start new game. Uh, hey man, this really is a good game. Uh, okay, that's the one I beat it on. File 2, alright. 2 shall be a lucky number. And this recording better not fail, alright? You hear me, game? Jack? Oh, I'll be quiet. The video game you are about to play is extremely unpleasant. If you are interested in casting magic spells or saving the Earth from alien invasions, you might as well stop right now. If a happy ending is important to you, you would certainly be better off with something else. In this game, not only is there no happy ending, there is no happy beginning and very few happy things in the middle. This is because not very many happy things happened in the lives of the three Baudelaire children who are Violet, the oldest, her brother Klaus, and their very young sister, Sunny. Sunny was at an age where one mostly speaks in a series of unintelligible shrieks, which most people had trouble understanding. For instance... Jack! <coughs> Mr. Bell? From the bank? <clears throat> Children, I'm afraid I must inform you of an extremely unfortunate event. I'm very sorry to tell you this. Your parents have perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home. Perished is a word which here means they were lost forever to everyone who loved them, and that the world had suddenly become a lonely and sinister place in which the children had to see their way. I know you must feel awful right now, but I have some very good news for you. As the executor of your parents' estate, I've made arrangements for you to live with your dear uncle, Count Olaf. <coughs> Consider yourselves lucky children. He's an actor by trade. Generosity is rare in his profession. We don't know a Count Olaf. Hello, hello, hello. I am your beloved Count Olaf. And welcome to my humble dwelling. Or in the words of the great French poet Ovid, Mi casa et su casa. Violet, enchanté. How do you do? And this must be Klaus. Ovid was Roman. And he didn't speak Spanish. And he never said that. Klaus! <laughs> what a darling child. I have it underlined. I'll show you later. Yahoo! Mr. Poe, I will raise these orphans as if they were my own. Now, where do I sign for the fortune? <laughs> I mean, uh, children. How do we get this done? <clears throat> Oh, you won't officially have guardianship until the hearing Thursday morning. I see. And what am I to do with them until then? <coughs> Excuse me? Nothing? 
Never mind. Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, I'd better be getting back to the bank. Oh, can't you stay? I was going to pull out some board games, followed by face painting, and uh, make your own Sunday. <laughs> well, if you must go. Uh, now, children, remember, if you need anything, feel free to contact me at the bank. Orphans, let me show you around the house. And after all your chores are done, Ski, this is where you'll sleep, time permitting. As you can see, I've stocked the place with a multitude of jollies, knickknacks, and paddywhacks for your amusement. I find that giving is the greatest gift of all. If I had music behind me, you'd be crying right now. By the way, there's a small rat infestation problem in the house. Make yourself useful and take care of it. I do it myself, but I find rats to be deeply unpleasant. I don't know. Perhaps there's something about them that reminds me of myself. That was a very big rat. How are we gonna get rid of rats? Exterminators use traps and poisons. We don't have anything. Like many people, Violet Baudelaire was afraid of rats and didn't want to have anything to do with them. Unlike many people, she was also a brilliant inventor. Hmm. Anyone who knew Violet well could tell she was thinking very hard when her long hair was tied up in a ribbon to keep it out of her eyes. I've got an idea for a device that will do the job. I'll need a spring, a broom, a coffee can, and that boxing glove. <sighs> Whose cutscene's over yet? Both yep. Baudelaire children will be needed on this adventure. Try switching to Klaus switch now. Switch to Klaus? You switch to Klaus with Triangle, but before that, I have a couple more things to explain. First of all, Okay, I'll quit the accent. Uh, first, uh, first of all, <laughs> you'll probably be liking this game a bit more if you have if you have seen the movie, um, which I completely recommend. It's super good. Um, but it, this is also a great game in general, and uh, I really wanted to let's play it because I really like the game, which is quite surprising. This is actually not my uh, next intended let's play, but since since it's short, um, I thought. Well, you know, this will be a good game to let's play, and I don't really have time uh, at the moment to be let's playing other huge games because uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door is getting in the way quite atrociously, and I have uh, I have a bunch of things to do with Paper Mario, bunch of bunch of things that are getting in the way, and this is a great break. So um, yeah. That's what break time is for. No, uh, not not quite yet. But uh, I'll get back to those later. For now, we are going to focus on unfortunate events. How <laughs> however unfortunate that may seem. But this will game, this whole game will give us joy the more we play. Okay, all right. Triangle button now. I'll take it from here. Well done. At times, the children will be faced with more laborious tasks. A phrase which here means pushing heavy objects across the room. <laughs> more laborious tasks than pushing a button? It's quite funny, actually. Okay, uh, as for glitches in this game, <laughs> uh, the only glitch I experienced is uh, I was trying to push another box. Nice work. While jumping uh, is only recommended for people with strong knees or insects in their trousers, let's give it a go. I experienced a glitch in this game when I was in another room and I was trying to push some stuff, but it just would not let me push things. Um, yeah, I couldn't push things. Stealing is a very impolite habit, and it is something you should never, ever, ever, ever do. Borrowing, on the other hand, is tolerable. Collect that boxing We're glove. So now. totally gonna borrow that boxing glove and you even the smart and use it to kill Count Olaf in the times. end. If you've forgotten what you're looking for, this list should oh, do the trick. so much for 
keeping spoilers away. <laughs> we don't really kill him. <laughs> but you'll Once see. Once you feel you have spent enough time in this dreadful place, you may leave through that, that door. door. That door? Okay. Uh, well, this is the first basic room. And as you can see, it's very basic. I believe, uh... I believe this, uh, this stage, uh, Count Olaf's house is the longest in the game. And so if you're not enjoying it right now, uh, don't be afraid. We'll be right back in the next episode with new places to go, more to see, lots to do, so little time, all right? And I uh, should mention these episodes are going to be much shorter than Paper Mario. I may mean for 10 minutes, as always, introductions are longer than 10 minutes. Um, so I will see you next time at next episode, same place, same channel. I cannot wait to do this game. I'm serious. It's it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Okay, so I have been Constant Upgrader. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.